We've been talking about the six deadly sins that could be killing your business. And this is the last one, the final one. Um, I hope that you've taken some of the information and applied it to your business and that your business is doing well. This is a sin that has some real ramifications in all areas of your life, but we'll talk about it in terms of selling. And that is the sin of lack of confidence. Now it could be lack of confidence in your product or service, could be lack of confidence in your company or the way they market, or it could be lack of confidence in yourself. And quite frankly, it's the latter that's the most important. But we'll talk just briefly about lack of confidence in your product. A lot of that comes from people not understanding uh, their product and service. Now, I'm going to tell you that the easiest way to understand your product or service is to use it and to have your own stories and the stories of your 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 customers to explain how the product or service works. Nothing's better than you being sold on the product yourself. And in fact, if you are not utilizing your product or service, you need to do that or find a new product or service. The other thing that you may have lack of confidence is, is the company or the way it's being marketed. And I'm not going to talk so much about the company, although go to the people that uh, brought you uh, to that company that hired you or recruited you and talk to them about the history of the company, uh, really learn who the people are behind the company. You know, when I'm looking at companies, I always look at the people who are behind them and then I look at their histories because that will tell you a lot. And it's really, for most people, it's not so much the company as it's the marketing style. And again, I'm not going to go into depth in that, but learn about why your product or service is marketed in the way it is so that you really understand what's behind that. Um, and there's some great books out there if you're in direct sales and wondering, you know, what's the real stick on direct sales? Is it a pyramid scheme and all those kinds of things? I really encourage you to read, and I've got some books myself on my website that could really help educate you about direct selling. But the third one is the most important, and we don't have a whole lot of time, but I'm going to tell you we're going to deal with this in another segment coming up soon, and that's lack of confidence in yourself. Now, I want you to think about some situation in your life where you really do have confidence. Got it? You know, you make the best pie or you are a killer on the on the golf course or you whatever, something that you do that you really understand and can do in your sleep and you're great at it. That's something you probably have a lot of confidence in. So think about it. That confidence comes from knowledge. The knowledge that you have comes from experience and experience comes from getting out there and doing it. So that may seem very simplistic to you, but in fact, it's true that if you get out and do the thing that you most fear, and in this case, we're talking about selling, um, if you do the thing that you most fear, you'll get the experience, for, with that experience, you'll get the knowledge, and with the knowledge, you will be confident. And with that, I hope that you'll take some of these ideas to the field, work on them and be very successful.